Not bad. Not bad. I just got done watching Orphan First Kill, and if you watch my review for Orphan, you should know I am not a fan of prequels. I do not like them. They're answering questions that I did not want answered. And, like, Leatherface. That movie is stupid. Oh god, I forgot to move my mouse. Sorry. Um, I hate the Leatherface prequel. To me, that is the worst of the series. And, yeah, I hate it more over the next generation. Don't yell at me about that. But, when I was walking into this movie... Well, I actually streamed it on Paramount+. Plus. When I watched this movie last night, I was nervous because I was afraid that this movie was just gonna ruin Esther for me, and I thought it was kinda ruin, like, the secrets of this character, but thank fucking god it didn't. This movie did not ruin Esther for me, if, t to me, it may have made her better. Like, if I were to do a top 10 horror icons list right now, she'd probably be pretty fucking high. But I did like her in this movie. That was that's one of my positives. Like, and I also find it hilarious that the fact in the first orphan movie they try to make a twelve year old girl <laughs> make her look like a thirty three year old, but in this movie they're trying to make a twenty five year old look like a twelve year old. To me, that's fucking hilarious, and it, they have to. It's funny, and I bet they joked about it on set of this movie. I have not watched the behind the scenes yet. I'm probably gonna go watch it, and I do. I did like that, and I do like how they showed how Esther became the way she was. And there is a twist in this movie, but I, uh, but I will put spoilers in the title. So there is going to be spoilers in this. If you don't want to be spoiler spoiled, get the fuck out of here. But. I did like how she became Esther, how she finds out that this family, this family has lost their daughter, they don't, uh, who goes missing, and she takes the, she takes the name and the role of this person, and then at the end you find out these people are fucking better, <laughs> but I, yeah, this, this where, this will be spoilers, so... I'm going to warn you a lot during this, and so don't fucking yell at me in the comments that I didn't fucking warn you. And I also did like the family of this movie, they were pretty interesting to me. And I'm also glad with Esther that they didn't use CGI, they even get, went out of their way and said that they use no CGI, they use practical, they use like little booster boots or something to make some of the actors actors and actresses taller than than Esther who plays her Isabel I can't remember her full name but I think it's Isabel so like they p put boots on on all the actors and actresses to make them look taller than Esther which I think is a fucking brilliant idea to me because I like how they go old school in this like they're acting like they're making this movie in the 80s and that to me, it's just awesome, and I hate CGI because sometimes they fuck up with CGI, and I'm really glad that they use practical, or maybe they'll show that they use the smidge of CGI, but if they use the smidge of CGI, it looked pretty fucking good to me, and I also like how they used camera work, to, and like they use certain shots to make Esther look smaller and stuff. That's really cool to me, and I really like how they use that. Oh, God. I'm trying to remember some of my other positives. What else did I like? Oh, I did like the violence in this movie. The violence in this movie was really good. And the opening of this movie, it's pretty weird. To me, it's like, there's this one <laughs> lady in the fucking asylum. It's like, Esther, like, apparently makes her go, like, fucking rogue when she's like, Do you want a piece of candy? And, uh, and she'll fucking freak out and attack someone just for fucking pieces of candy. There's one death where she takes a fucking cop's little beating stick and beats him fucking to death. It was hilarious to me. That, to me, is, like, fucking awesome. But, my mixed elements. So, spoilers right now. Skip a few sec- uh, skip a few minutes. Skip, like, ten minutes. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll probably put a time code. 
Uh, there is a twist in this movie where you find out that the mom of this movie and the brother of this movie, Gunner, and I can't, and I forget the mom's name of this movie, and you find out that they killed the original Esther, and there's a part in this movie where Esther stabs the fuck out of this cop in this movie, which was a awesome fucking death, if you ask me. And she asks him, is like, how did you know I was not the real Esther? The mom didn't even know. And he goes, yes, she did. And she walks in and shoots the fuck out of that cop. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Now, to me, it's a mixed element. I don't really like it because it's something different. And we're not just watching another orphan movie just like the original. Where in the original, you find out she failed to seduce the father burnt the house down, and killed pretty much all the family members. I like how they do something different in this movie. It's something new, but it's a, it's a, it's stupid, it's, I like it, it's, it's mixed. I don't know how to feel about it. It's something I don't have feelings for. It's where I don't like it, it's where this movie takes a Don't Breathe 2 thing, and it kind of forgets that Esther's the villain of this movie. To me, it's different. I can enjoy it for that. And I just don't like how they forget that Esther, who's this fucked up little girl, supposedly, who's 33 years old, and who killed a whole bunch of people and, is, and has disguised her, her life as a 12-year-old girl, and is going fucking house to house and like different countries to seduce a father and kill the rest of them. And if she fails, she kills them. Now, I like how it doesn't do that. Like, we're just not watching the same thing just in a time, a different time period where Esther just isn't dead. And it kind of forgets that Esther's the villain of this movie. And don't get me wrong, I like how they do different things in this, but I just didn't like where that went, to me, honestly. The the twist, it's fine. I, I can put this movie in and be like, oh, oh yeah, that's the twist. But I prefer the twist in the, in the original Orphan. It doesn't feel like shoved in, but I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. Oh yeah, another positive. Oh fuck, I just forgot it. I talk too much might be it. I kind of feel embarrassed now. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I just remembered one of my positives, and then I was just like, oh, god damn it. Huh. But that's what really all I got. This movie was pretty good. I put this movie in, and I can have a decent time with it. I'm going to go watch it later today with my dad. And because he likes the original, he thinks it's one of the better horror movies in the last few years. And I don't know if he'll like this, honestly. Maybe he will. I'm not a fan of prequels. Oh, yeah, this is my positive. I'm not a fan of prequels, but I'm also glad it didn't, like, ruin everything. Like, you get the story of this little girl, and it does something different, like... Like I said of the original where she burned the house down because she failed to seduce the father. But in this, you find out she didn't even try to seduce him. And, like, at the end of the movie, the house is on fire because um, Esther, new Esther, and the mom of the original Esther. I keep forgetting the mom's name. I don't know why. There's a point in this movie where the dad tries to go and help Esther and the mom, but he chooses Esther and the mom falls, and her head goes fucking everywhere. I found that kind of funny how he's just like, Fuck you, bitch, I'm choosing my daughter. And she just fucking falls, and her brains go fucking everywhere. That to me was kind of funny. That might sound fucked up, but to me it was pretty funny. And then he just finds out that Esther is a 33-year-old woman, and he's like, Who the fuck are you? And then she gets all mad and pushes him off, and he acts, and she finds just like, Oh, fuck, I just killed him. And then he's just dead right next to his bitch wife. That, to me, is pretty fucking funny. And, like I said, I'm just glad this movie didn't answer so many questions I was asking for. Like, with Esther. Like, I didn't 
really care the, how she became the way she was. They pretty much answered it in the first Orphan, and I was like, is this just gonna be a cash grab? Paramount doesn't know where they are right now, and they found out, oh yeah, there's a, we made a successful film in 2009. Let's bring her back, but let's do a prequel. And I was like, dude, no, just do a thing, like, there's an alternate ending to Orphan, which I don't, I haven't seen. Maybe the alternate ending, Esther's alive. Just fuck saying. But I did really enjoy this movie. This movie was fine for me. I can probably put this movie in and be a, a decent time. But I just don't... I just feel a little mixed on the, on the twist of this movie. And it just didn't really hit me that much. But the twist wasn't as good as in the original. But this movie, I would recommend that you can go out and buy it. But... If you, like I said, if you don't like the twist, then stream it. But to me, from my review, I say go out and buy this movie. This movie was fun, and I want more of Esther. This movie makes me want more Esther. But I don't know how they do it. I don't know what they would do, but I want them to figure it out. I want them, like, because at the end of this movie, the therapist of the mom in this movie... Or of the family, I can't remember. I think it was the, just the mom. Of this movie, it ends where the th the therapist says that she she found an orphanage where she'd be safe there. And I'm pretty sure it was the orphanage from the first movie. Um, but in the original, they also said that there was a kid with scissors and stabbed himself through the jaw. Maybe that's the orphanage that they're talking about. Hopefully, I would want to see more Esther. I want more Esther. Esther is fucking awesome, and I want to see more of her. She could be the next best horror icon. She can be one of the best horror of icons of all time. I want more Esther, and I bet all of you want more Esther. But if you enjoyed my review, please like it. Like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you will not miss any more of my videos. But until my next video, take care.